Hey everyone, welcome to this special episode of Tools of the Trade, where I explore the tools that a lot of growers use or a lot of growers should be using. And this time we're looking at a tool that not that many people know about, and we're talking about greenhouse automation systems. Specifically one that I've been using for many years, developed here in Quebec, Canada by Orisha. We'll go through the motion of really understanding why uh, automating greenhouse systems is important. And secondly, going through that tool specifically and looking at the key features that make it really and honestly one of the most valuable tool that you can have in your pocket. So greenhouses are a big part of successful market gardening. You know, when a greenhouse you can grow crops really earlier. You can grow them really later. In the season, you can get a lot more yields when you're growing crops like tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, cucumbers. These are heat loving crops that are the real money makers and uh, that are the crowd pleasers at farmer's market and in CSA baskets. And so having a greenhouse equates more yields, more production and often better quality. And the reason is you get to control the temperature, you, you get to control somewhat the humidity, and you get to control irrigation. You have control over all the parameters that make successful growing. When you grow into this trade, you're likely to have one greenhouse, another one, and another one, and it becomes an evolutionary step as you get more clients, as you get more cash flow to buy more greenhouses, and all of this can be kept in a small piece of land. And the trick to make this a successful endeavor is always to grow better, not bigger, to learn how to work with your greenhouses to just grow more yields on smaller pieces of land. And so for this to happen, you need to have an understanding of four parameters, temperature, ventilation, humidity and irrigation. These are the four parameters that you need to manage. And the fifth one, which is what we're introducing today, is how to control these in a systematic way that makes it efficient and perhaps that makes it even more profitable and productive. So number one, heating. Heating greenhouses is simpler said than done. Obviously, when we're in a Norton climate like ours, uh, there's a lot of good reasons why you want to heat in the spring and in the fall. But when you're growing crops like greenhouse tomatoes and you want to get optimal yield, you're also heating the greenhouse in the summer. You are setting parameters of optimal temperature ranges for the crop to really grow and really get the perfect yields. So common uh, setting measures for greenhouse is Three hours after sunrise, you're kicking in some heat so that the crop can really, really speed up its growth. And you'll be stopping some of it at the end of the day because you want the plant to really chill out for the night. And that's where having a climate controller really makes a big difference because the climate controller can read the outside temperature, the light availability. You can set some parameters according to the stage of the plant and then the, the climate controller can really adjust and adapt for optimal conditions of the plant at that specific time. This is a major game changer because you're going from analog to digital and it has a huge impact on the growth of the plant. So just like heating is so critical to greenhouse success, ventilation, which is the flip side, uh, is just as important. Uh, in an analog kind of fashion, you're opening the roll-ups during the morning, closing them at night, and that's it. And when I started market gardening, before I got more into real greenhouse practices and real productivity, that was my measure. Uh, the problem with having a simple control like that is, first of all, the, green, the roll-ups are not adjusting to the temperatures that are inside the greenhouse. If you want to be ventilating optimally, uh, the roll-ups should be always opening and closing regarding the set points that you're putting into the greenhouse. Mm. 
Once you ha start to have more greenhouses or tunnels and you have one greenhouse with two roll-ups and another one with two others and another one with two others, it becomes a lot of work to manually open and close all these roll-ups. And so that's really one area where having a climate controller makes a big difference. So all in all, if you look at uh, climate control, there's, there's good reasons why you want to get there. More yields, better quality, less susceptibility to diseases, and less susceptibility to certain insects, okay? Just overall better quality because you're managing the environment in the optimal way for the plant. And to get to that point, the climate controller is really the tool to do that. Otherwise, it's nearly, uh, it's nearly impossible to get to optimal range all the time. The beauty with a tool like Orisha is that it's in your pocket. It's on a smartphone and you can manage all these set points really easily. And that's what we're gonna explore in the third episode. But before we get there, in the second episode of this Tools of the Trade, we're gonna talk about humidity, how to manage that, and also irrigation in the greenhouses because these are all also very important features that you need to control if you're gonna get optimal yield in your greenhouses. So that's it for this video on greenhouse automation. When I reflect upon you know my first days in market gardening when I would open up the roll-ups of all my greenhouses and hoop houses, it's a lot of work, it's a lot to think about, not for them to overheat. So automation is a great, great, great move forward. It might not be for all the market gardeners that are starting, it might be a level up kind of thing, but it's always good to have that in mind. And I'm really happy that my greenhouses are fully automated right now. It's an investment that I appreciate. Speaking of which, I'm giving a workshop on tools. You can check out the information on the link below. It's a free workshop. And it's not just about tools that could be game changers that can really help uh, level up your game, but it's also about sometimes not buying tools too quickly. So the right tool in the right timing. What's the sequence there? That's a workshop that I'm giving. All the information is on the link below. Thanks for checking it out. JM out. See you next time, friends.